This set is based on sports. Here we have seven batsmen pointing Sachin, Sehwag, Gambhir, Warner, Smith and Yuraz who played in a test match between India and Australia. The number of balls faced by them are these, not necessarily in the same order and their strike rates are these. No, again not necessarily in the same order and a strike rate is equal to the number of runs scored upon number of balls faced into 100. If somebody scores 100 run after facing 80 deliveries his strike rate would be 100 upon 80 into 100 this is equal to 125. Some additional information is given. No batsman out of the 7 scored 150 or more which means highest scorer was the highest scorer did not score more than 150 or even 150 runs and the lowest runs scored by any of the 7 batsmen was 60 which means the lowest run is scored by the batsman or batsman who scored the least run was 60. Ponting was the highest scorer. Ponting scored the maximum number of runs and either he faced maximum number of balls or his strike rate was the highest among all. The strike rate of one of Ponting and Sachin was twice that of other Sachin Ponting if his strike rate of Sachin then of Ponting it could have been x by 2 or 2x. Run scored by each of them was different except Sehwag and Yuraz. These two batsmen scored 60 run each which means Sehwag and Yuraz both scored 60 runs each and it is also known that Smith scored 80 runs and Gambhir scored 108 runs. Now if we have a look at question then we would realize that we have to identify the number of ball phase the strike rate as well as run scored by the seven batsmen so let's try to work out the possible pairs of ball fees and strike rates like for someone to score 60 runs the following possible the following are the possible combinations of balls and strike rate this is possible with, with the strike rate of 33.33 percent with number of deliveries faced 150 strike rate of 40 with ball faced here in previous case it is 180 here it is 150 this is one more combo of a strike rate and ball face that would give us 60 runs and the last one is 50 and 120 these three are the possible pairs of strike rates and ball fees that would give us 60 runs. Now coming to the statement third in which it is given that a strike rate of Sachin and Ponting are one of, one of Ponting and Sachin was twice of the other which there are two possible pairs these are of 60 and 30 and 60 and 40 and 80 these are the possible pair pairs of strike reads for Sachin and Ponting 
now coming to the statement fifth in which it is given that smith scored 81 runs so there are two possibilities in which this run can be obtained in first case a strike rate of 30 with 270 balls and in second case a strike rate of 40 with 180 balls and coming to Gambir it is possible in three ways a strike rate of 40 with 270 balls a strike rate of 45 with 240 balls and a strike rate of 60 with 180 balls these are the possible pairs of a strike rate and balls for Gambir now suppose the strike rates of Sachin and Ponting are 30 and 60 in any order in that case Ponting will face the highest would have faced the highest number of balls that is 300 according to the second condition in which it is given that Ponting was the highest scorer and either he faced the maximum number of balls or his strike rate was the highest among all when we take the pair of 30 and 60 for the strike rates of Sachin and Ponting then latter part of the second half of the statement that is maximum strike number of balls or highest strike rate because highest strike rate is not possible so he must have faced the maximum number of balls and when he would have faced 300 ball then irrespective of strike rate either 30 or 60 he would not get the score that could satisfy the given condition because with a strike rate of 30 360 balls will give us 90 runs and one with the strike rate of 6300 balls will give us 180 runs when his score was 80 he must not have been the highest scorer and when it was 80 when it is 80 it is violating first condition which means a strike rate of 30 and 60 are not possible for Tendulkar and Ponting which means their strike rate have to be 40 and 80 in any order from here the case of strike rate of 40 and number of ball face 50 bus either Sehwag or Yuraj will be ruled out so there are only two possible cases and these are the only two possibilities for Sehwag and Yuraz therefore Sehwag strike rate could be either 33.33 or 50 accordingly ball faced will be 180 and 120 similar would be the case for Yuraz now coming to the possible cases for Gambhir his strike rate of 40 with 270 ball is not possible because his strike rate of 40 would go to either Tendulkar or Ponting and the last case in which he faced 
he could face 180 delivery is also not possible because 180 deliveries was faced by either Sehwag or Yuraz. Therefore, there is the only one possible case for Gambhir. It is of a strike rate 45 and deliveries faced 240. From here, we will get the unique case for Smith as well. He must have faced 270 deliveries and his strike rate was 30. Now coming to the case of Ponting, his strike rate was either 40. When it was 40, he must have faced 300 deliveries. In that case, his total run scored will be 120 and that of Sachin will certainly be more than 120 or it will be equal to 120 which is not possible therefore pointing his strike rate was 80 and Sachin's strike rate was 40 which means Warner's strike rate was 60 now coming to the cases of deliveries in case Ponting face would have faced 300 deliveries his run score would have been more than 150 which is not possible and when it is one fifty then again the maximum run which is which was scored by pointing would not be a possibility which means he scored he is faced six one sixty delivery which will give us one twenty eight runs and Warner will face then 150 deliveries otherwise his total run scored would be more than that of Ponting and Sachin face 300 deliveries which means Sachin scored 120 runs and Warner scored 90 runs so that is the complete picture let's move to the question in the first question it is asking what was the strike rate of Sachin it was 40 hence option B is the correct answer in the next question it is asking who faced the least number of balls the least number of balls that is 120 it was faced by either Yuraz or Sehwag hence option D is the correct answer in this question it is asking who was the second highest scorer it was Sachin who scored the second highest run therefore option C is the correct answer and in the last question it is asking how many runs did Warner score Warner scored 90 runs hence option A is the correct answer